Good afternoon, fellow Plexers. After testing out a separate Plex server install on a little 11th gen Intel NUC for about five months, I stopped that container and backed it up and I moved my normal Plex container from my Synology NAS, which is a DS1520 Plus NAS, over to the Unrate install on the NUC and adjusted my pass and I started the, the container up and I did not lose any metadata, did not lose any custom collections. It's the easiest way on earth to move a Plex install. As long as it's in Docker, you can put it any place you want. So this won't be a full tutorial on how to do that, but this will cover the highlights. So I'm in DSM on the left and Unraid on the right. And all I did was take my um, Plex folder inside the Docker folder and I moved it to Unraid. Doesn't matter how you get it there, just, just get it from one machine to the other. So if I go into my cache pool, this Unraid install does not have its own array device. Um, I'm using a flash drive um, in place of a hard drive just to be able to start the array. So my Docker containers run on this um, cache pool. So if I go into my at data folder, you'll find my container folders. So I'm running channels DVR on this and that points back to my Synology NAS for recording. And this was the four or five month old Plex install, all I did is I simply renamed it something else. And of, and of course, you have to stop the container first if you have one running. And then I copied in my folder from the Synology Plex with the library folder in it and everything else. So that's the easy part, copying one from the other. The harder part is setting your pass up, but it's not that hard. Let me bring over Portainer for a second, because this is where I have my Docker Compose script. This is how I point to my volumes. Now, I've I could have done this a couple different ways. I could have had just one volume pointing to my Plex Media folder. Um, but instead, I had five separate um, paths to each of my library sort folders. So I have a library sort folder for all my movie libraries, a TV sort folder for my two TV show libraries. I have a sort folder for two different music libraries. I have a bunch of different folders for photos. So they're all in one Plex photo sort library and then I had the same thing for video. Um, I could have just done one of these and just and just stopped here. I could have eliminated these backs or the forward slash music and just called this Plex media on the other side and all the libraries would have just used the one um, mount point. But that's not how I did it. So that's not how I could change it in Unraid or, or create it in Unraid. So if we go to the, the Plex container and edit it, first of all, let's, let's make this full screen for a second. First of all, when you install the Plex container, you need to point it to the cache drive. This would normally say user. You change that to the cache drive so it, 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 it doesn't go to local storage, it goes to your cache drive, which is probably going to be SSDs. And then let, let's look at my movie path. So 
So this is the share I created on Unraid of my Synology NAS. On the NAS I have a user called Unraid with its own password that has access to three different media folders. Um, and then I have to use the same container path. Plex Movie Media and that matches this. Plex Movie Media. Where in the Docker Compose image I've got colon RO for um, read only. In this container I'm giving it read write access. So then this is the path. The actual path Unraid uses to get back to the Synology NAS. And it's it's very simple. You just you just make sure that this matches that and this is a true path. So let's do this for the TV one. Again, Plex forward slash Plex TV Media will match this. So the container path matches and on the Synology NAS this is the true path to the media. On the Unraid this is the true path to the media. It's very simple. So when you get done you spin up the container and if you're successful it's mapped back properly. And really the only other thing to tell is, let's make this full screen, you just need to install the unassigned devices add-on um, and you need to create a user um, to access your NAS. I didn't want to use my admin account on my Synology NAS so I created an Unraid user and I gave that user access to um, three shared folders my Plex folder, the channels-dvr-unraid, and this one I just stupidly called reference for a test um, Jellyfin install. I'm not a fan of Jellyfin, I won't be leaving Plex for it, but it, it's really that simple. I think besides copying the files, which takes a while, it's a 10-15 minute install. It really is that simple. So, everything I've heard for the last couple of years about Unraid being great because it's portable is 100% true. I moved my, my server over and I didn't lose a stick of anything. I'm opening up the Plex web app in another window. So all my collections, all my custom posters, everything came with it, all the watch history, I did not lose anything. So if you're setting up Plex for the first time, um, get some help getting it done in Docker because you can put it any place you want after that. Thanks for watching. Happy Plexing.